Hey, what's up, guys? It's Flex Design HDL for Nerd Tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to create this text with the nice thing going on over there. So let's get started. So first, we're going to create a MoGraph text. I'm doing this in Cinema 4D R12, but you can also do this in 11.1. Uh, Then turn your depth to around, let's say, 150. It's good. And then choose a nice font. I'm going to pick this one hero. Looks pretty nice to me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to your MoGraph text and we're going to add some fillet caps and add some steps. And then here also add steps and then just pump up your radius so you will create the thing going on in the back. So just play with it so it looks nice to you. So that's already that's kind of the basic stuff in this technique. So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate our mo text, and then what we're going to do is um, make the radius lower again, like five or something. So then go to your front view and move your text in front of the thing in the back so, like that that's good well, what we're going to do now to rotate the text is we're just going to select these things and we're going to MoGraph effector and then random like that now go to the pari parameters and just make the position things really low just low then because we don't want to move the position but we just want some rotation going on so like just mess around with these settings it looks fine for you. So yeah, that's looking fine. You can do whatever you want. Just play around with these things. Now we're going to add some lightning. We're going to add a overhead softbox. Put it lower and move it in front like that, and then we're going to add a normal sub box like that, then position it, so. and then click here, and here you will see rotation and then you can rotate it so that's good all right now we're going to create a new material for our background let's pick an orange one so th then add some reflection and add fresnel to it uh, just turn the bri brightness to really low, like that. Then put the material in it. Now we're going to create some materials for the text. Just a white one and another one for the caps. Add some reflection. Let's take red or something. And then also add fresh now. Oh shit. No. So, 
so and then turn down the brightness so that's all good and also add this one and then under our selection on our material we're going to put C1 that means caps 1 and then it will oh I'm sorry you have to do it with the white one and then C1 just move the white one in front of the red one so just remove it on the red one so that's good mm, let's now I like to add some effects on it ambient occlusion you will just find them in here but I already have them right there just make your minimum ray length to around 40 or something and your contrast to 30 and add global illumination make the this one low and this one also and here at the GI mode go to IR plus QMC still image so that will be good now during What you also can do is go to your softbox and then just change the color here. Let's make it like light orange. And what I also like to do is go to your material from the back and then on under color, pick texture mode, surfaces, and then check board. And then change the U frequency to 0 and the V frequency to 10 and then here you can change the mix strength let's make it 40 or something and now we'll see these lines going on around your text which looks very nice I think so yeah guys this was it and See you next time. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Peace.